This video is a public service announcement for anyone who's stuck taking a statin drug. Now, here's a list of all the statin drugs that are FDA approved in the United States. They, they go by other names in other countries. Many people are stuck taking these for a variety of reasons. Perhaps you've already had a heart attack or a stent or a bypass, and therefore you're taking a statin for secondary prevention. Some people are taking a statin because their doctor kind of bullied them into taking it. Some people take a statin because their wife encouraged them strongly to do what the doctor said. In some cases, it's your mama. In some cases, you just don't know better and you wind up taking a statin. In many cases, this is not doing you any good, but it can do potential harm in seven different ways. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the seven things you need to be thinking about and working on if you're stuck taking a statin. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with over 20 years of clinical practice. Let's look at this list and I'll tell you what you need to do about each one of them. Number one is vitamin D. Taking statins decreases your body's ability to synthesize vitamin D. And so you need to really think about either eating vitamin D rich foods, which I have a video about on this channel, or taking a vitamin D3 supplement that does not come in a vegetable seed oil. Number two is vitamin K2. Again, uh, taking a statin interferes with your body's ability to make vitamin K2, which is different from vitamin K1. So either eat from the list of vitamin K2 rich foods uh, that I talk about in my video about that, or consider taking a vitamin K2 supplement. Number three, very important. It's been shown without any doubt that taking a statin causes your levels of coenzyme Q10 to plummet. So for every single human on the planet who's taking a statin on a daily basis, you need to be taking a coenzyme Q10 supplement I encourage every doctor and healthcare provider to go through your list of patients taking a statin and call them and say, hey, why don't you take 200 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 a day because the statin that you're taking to try and prevent a heart attack is preventing your body from having the, the correct level of CoQ10 in your bloodstream. Next is cataracts. So some research shows that statins can actually cause the formation of cataracts. Other research shows that statins may prevent against the formation of cataracts. Now, at first you're like, how, does it, how is it both ways? Well, many of these studies were funded by the drug company that stands to profit billions from selling the statin. So I'll let you figure out what's going on there. But in the meantime, if you're stuck taking a statin, Make sure and go see your eye doctor at least once a year and get a good eye exam to make sure you're not developing cataracts or that your cataracts are worsening. Next is hyperinsulinemia. It's been shown in research that when you take a daily statin, your levels of insulin in your bloodstream are going to be higher. And this can lead to a whole host of maladies, none of which you want. And so you may have to adjust your diet uh, in a way that I talk about in other videos on this channel to keep your insulin level from getting too high while taking a statin. Number six is hyperglycemia. Statins will absolutely make your blood sugar go up to some degree. Some people a little bit, other people a lot of bit. So you may have to again adjust your diet to eat a lower carbohydrate diet to keep your blood sugar within normal levels if you're stuck taking a statin. And then number seven, testosterone. If you're taking a daily statin, whether you're a man or a woman, it is going to lower your level of total testosterone in your bloodstream. And you need to monitor this. And if it gets low enough to be dangerous, then you need to consider a bioidentical testosterone replacement therapy. Testosterone benefits your body in hundreds, if not thousands of ways and taking a statin can lower it to levels where you lose this benefit. So these are the seven things. If you know anybody taking a statin, please consider sharing this video with them because it could improve the quality of their life drastically. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.